Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you, are you ready? here? Be here. Be the ball. Come on, right here. Are you ready? Tell me you're ready. Ready. We're ready and we're back. Here we are getting ready to rig some mullets with Tyler Beckford of Teaser Bait Company. I'm Fly Navarro from the Fly Zone. Tyler, tell me what we're doing here. These mullets we've already uh, split tailed and we're going to rig them for, um, with a J-hook, a piece of 12 wire, two ounce or an ounce and a half lead. And um, Wahoo fishing, king fishing, king fishing, along those lines. Right here, we're going to take. Uh, this is where typically where the hook's going to pop out. So you try to measure your hook. You know, get it up here, give or take a, a little bit. So I, I like to try to just just make a little slice here, just to make it a little bit easier. So you just measure it out and yep. make your cut. And slide the hook in. A little bit too close. So how do you want how do you want that hook to set one once it's in there? You want the hook to kind of lay lay in there like so. Okay. But sometimes you know sometimes your slice might be too far forward and might even move back. Yeah. Okay. So take your 12 wire, go through the wedge, and make sure. I know exactly what you're gonna say. You get the eye of the hook. <laughs> I've learned from experience that you have to make sure that you have the eye of the hook. Because there's nothing worse than a fish coming up, eating your bait, and all you have is a loop and no hook. So double check that you got the eye of the hook with the wire where you pull on it, you can feel it pulling the wire. All right. Then slide your lead on. Pulling everything tight. And we're going to try to get the lead to lay underneath the mouth of the mullet. All right. And Do what you're doing here is just a regular haywire twist, correct? Yes, sir. Sir, I don't know, five I'm not that old. Five or six of them, and then do a couple barrel wraps to, to finish it off. I'm not that old, but he keeps calling me sir. I may have a few more miles than him, but come on. Like I said, that's that. All right, so that's the rig, and then how do you finish it off? And then I take a piece of floss, which is usually 70 pound floss. I'm gonna close up the gills first, leave a little bit of tag. Again, about six to eight inches. Yep. All right. And then do just do two or three wraps, closing up the wedge, pulling everything tight. Tying it off. Cut it. And then I, I like to do another cross stitch, just making everything tight and closed up. Some people preference. Go through, take a needle with a seven pound piece of floss. Go through the, behind the lead, but through the wire. Over top of the head. Come back here just a little bit, just get in the meat a little bit. So right behind the pec fins? Yeah, right behind the pec fins, or maybe sometimes a little bit lower. Making an X on the wedge, you know, make sure it stays back, you know, stays in the middle there. Pull it tight. Making everything tight again. And this and one's done. Have it. And that one's done. All right. Make sure that hook kind of lays in the, in the mullet. All right. Can we do one more? Yes, sir. Let's do it. This one, slide the, slide the hook in. Make sure make, you hit the eye. Make sure you get the eye. Again, there's nothing worse than feeding a fish and uh, all you come back is with a loop. Sometimes it's trickier than... Especially when it's late at night and uh, you're trying to get all your baits ready. There you go. Sorry. Slide the two ounce lead on, uh -huh. or an ounce and a half, depending on the size of the mullet. Wire has a mind of its tight. own.
And again with make the haywire sure the, twist. Yep, make sure the lead stays up there on the mouth. Finish it off with your barrel swivels. Yep, barrel twist. Three or and four of those. Just slow down that 90 degree turn and show us exactly. And then 90 degree it, and it, if you, as long as you go parallel with it, it'll snap. And therefore, that'll create it so it's not a tag and it don't cut you every time you grab it. And then you still have to finish this off and with the floss. We'll floss this one a couple times around, closing everything up nice and tight. the needle behind the lead. Well, hold on a second, nice, nice right behind the lead, okay. Over top of the head of the mullet, through the back, creating an X on the wedge. So that went, you know, that's, that's an X there too, pulling everything tight. Two X, dos X, <laughs> are you the most interesting man in the world? No fly, you are. <laughs> Come on, it could Tighten be your spot. Tighten everything up, and that'll be done. All right, so we got two J-hooked swimming mullets, and uh, there are occasions with a bigger mullet where you'll use two hooks, correct? Two hooks, yes, sir. If it's a bigger mullet, yep. you'll go with a second hook that just slides up over here. Slides over top, or you can do it with a swivel. Do this, you know, do the swivel on this hook, and then you close the eye of the second hook on the swivel, so therefore and it'd be laying back here. With smaller mullets, you don't really need this. I don't think you need the second hook. Some people have a preference for it. But well, we can do whatever you want. All right, there you go. Guys, thanks for joining us here in the Fly Zone.